Hello everyone and welcome to the horoscope readings for this powerful week ahead from Monday the 16th of May with the powerful full moon right the way through to Sunday the 22nd and we move into Gemini energy on Saturday so Gemini from Saturday I'll be doing your daily angel readings too where you can get guidance and check in with what's coming in around you for the day ahead so I've got a new deck of cards I picked this up when I was in London I haven't used it yet. It's the Take Heart Oracle. And these are inspirational cards from A Course of Love. So I haven't used these or messed with them yet. I've been saving them for today. So let's see what we need to know. So we're going to start with Aries. All the signs will be time stamped in the description box below. I'm definitely picking up on a croaky throat today, which again is connected with things needing to be revealed and released and healed and communication being restored so you know big changes in the throat chakra so if you're feeling this if you're feeling like you've got a croak in your throat or you may feel like you've got an itchy mouth or things are happening around the mouth like tooth pain or anything happening it's connected with decisions and change so thank you angel what do we need to know please for aries what's the energy please for aries what do we need to know okay I want just one card. I'm going to see how they guide me to do this here. Usually when I do this, one comes out very clearly. Yep, see? Two cards, wow. So Aries, this is your message. And you got a very powerful message last week. This card's moving too, which was all about abundance and money and power. So let's see what you need to know. So message is, when you realise that God is here, then and only then can you truthfully say, here is where I belong, wow. And what that means is when you connect with the universe, the higher power, God, whoever you believe in, you realize that you are safe and there's nothing to fear and you are abundant. And then you know you where you belong because everything is working out in your favor. To serve rather than to use is an enormous change in thinking, feeling and acting. It will immediately make the world a kinder and much gentler place. So focus on service this week. Focus on being the change that you want to see in the world. And that's going to bring magic in. So I feel you're understanding what your purpose is this week. You're realising what you want to use your voice for. And you know what you want to use your resources for. Maybe you want to use that money that you've received last week for something too. Something to help others or to get you on your feet financially with your purpose. So maybe you're investing in something or you're putting something into something and you want to make the world a kind and more gentle place. So you're changing the way you are thinking about things, feeling and acting and that's bringing in great change and it's allowing you to be authentic and true to your heart. Your heart will aid you in replacing thinking with remembering. In this way, remembering can be experienced as the language of the heart. So remember your power, remember your truth. Remember that you and your twin flame are one. You may have two hearts, two bodies and two minds, but you are one soul and you are connected in love and your heart will help you to remember things that you need to know. Things that are real. You know, when we follow our heart, we're always guided in the right direction and that's what I'm picking up on here. So you're realizing that God is in charge, God is your source, that you've nothing to fear, that the universe has got your back, that you were protected with angels and by angels and the same protected with angels because they're everywhere you go and that's allowing you to truthfully be here in this earth body because you're realising right now that's where you belong even though you may feel that you are in the world but not of the world you know that you belong in the here and now because you're learning, growing and helping the world that you're here to work on service and that's bringing in enormous change, not just for you or for your twin flame, but for the whole of humanity. And you're changing your thinking, your feeling, the way you're acting, the things you're doing, and it's making your world and this world you're living in, they're giving me fear, a much kinder, gentler place. So you're releasing fear and your heart is assisting you in replacing fear with faith and struggles with optimism and knowing that you are learning and growing so you're remembering everything too so you're in a good place this week because things are making sense 
things are making sense to you in a more spiritual way because you're realizing that you're receiving all the monetary gain and all the abundance you need and all the resources to make things happen for your purpose so you can focus on service giving and making the world a much kinder gentler place and that's what you're going to be doing this week realizing what you're here for why you've come and what you were born to do i hope that helps have a great week and i'll see you soon wow taurus welcome so remember i stopped doing your daily angel readings on friday but it's been a pleasure to read for you all month and i know you're going to take power into your year so thank you angels what do we need to know please for taurus here we go so the energy coming out for you this week taurus learning always has at its goal leading the learner beyond learning so what this says is when we learn it always has its own goal when we learn we grow and we realize that we move beyond the learning which means we can help others and guide others and what i'm really feeling with this is you know you learn things along your journey to be able to teach them to others or to be able to empathize with others about what they are going through because you've already experienced it too so this twin flame journey and the journey of the school of life it gives us significant challenges and triggers and things to overcome so we can help and inspire others and you are a leader a leader of the light you are a guide and you are an inspiration and a muse to so many people and he says we cannot build the new within prison walls of old whatever imprisons you must now be left behind so again you're receiving this message to move on from the past to release yourself from any prisons of your own mind which could be being afraid to leave that job walk away start again focus on the new because i really get this energy coming in around you where you know you're being guided to resign to leave things behind to start again to focus on service because you are a leader and you're here to lead and i know it's scary you know we've had the moonlighting car coming up today for the mask and where you know i talked about when i left my job and it was scary because you, you know you think can you pay the bills and you want it's like i feel like something stuck there you know so you feel like you want to spit something out but it won't come out you want to make that change but you just can't make the change yet because you've got pros and cons and you're weighing things up and the angels are saying to you, you can't build the new when you are in the prison walls of old. And the prison is in our mind, the way we think. So there's new opportunities ahead for you. Whatever you want to create in your life right now, it's going to build like magic when you make that decision to walk away. It says you are a being. You are joined in Christ consciousness. And you must share this consciousness in order to know it. So you're really being reminded here that you are a light worker, that you are part of the bigger picture, that you are connected to Christ consciousness, which means focusing on love, not fear, sharing love with the world and being a worker of love as a light worker where you share your light and they're saying you must share, not you should or that's what you need to do. You must share this consciousness with the world in order to know it so when you're sharing your light you know it yourself because you may be channeling messages or doing things from the heart but you feel it too you know when i'm doing these messages i feel everything i'm in this energy of a higher vibration and it serves me so you helping others and guiding others serves you maybe what you're doing in your real world you know your job it isn't serving you it feels like a prison Maybe you're thinking, I can't wait to finish at 5 p.m. I can't wait. You know how it is when we're a kid, you know, when you're at school and you're watching the clock thinking, can't wait till that bell goes so I can go home and play and eat my food and do what I want to do. Well, you should be living a life every day where you are excited for your day, where you don't want to be waiting for, the, you know, the end of the day so you're free. Free yourself now and do what feels good for you. And that's the messages to take into your heart this week. And I feel you're realising that more and more. Very inspiring. I hope that helps. Wow. 
Gemini, welcome. So first of all, I'm doing your daily angel readings this week. So, you know, for the next month during your birthday time. So if it is your birthday, happy birthday. But I'm going to be giving you a daily message that will help you and inspire you and really kind of give you power to get through each day. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know for Gemini? What's the energy, please, for Gemini this week? Wow. So the message we've got coming through is what you withhold from the world, you withhold from yourself. For you are not separate from the world. Wow. So if you're in separation with your twin flame or, you know, you're feeling like you want to do something in your life, but you feel you're not able to for any reason, which could be fear or obligations or responsibilities or anything at all, you're being reminded that you're only separate from those things if you believe it to be so. So remember, separation is illusion. Time is illusion. You are one with all things. You are one with your twin flame. You're one with your goals. And you're one with everything you want to create. And they're giving me like a lot of saliva in the mouth. <clears throat> the need to speak things out, clear the air, and really express yourself. So you have so much in you that you want to share and express with the world, don't hold yourself back. Don't hold yourself back from being who you want to be. And this is also a big message that your divine masculine doesn't want to hold themselves back any longer from you. They don't want to be separate any longer from you in the physical world. So this is a big message about changing your twin flame journey. It says what comes as a lesson may not seem like a gift, but all lessons are gifts. So remember, everything has a reason. There is always a blessing within all things. When we make a mistake, it's a, it's a lesson. It's something we can learn from and grow from and create magic from. So whatever comes to you this week, if it's challenging to you or a trigger to you or feels like an obstacle, if it doesn't seem like a gift at the time, it will do at a later time. When you look back now, you realise why things had to happen the way they did. Everything that takes place in your life is a beautiful gift. And we've got the energy of gifts too because it's your birthday energy. So gifts could be coming to you, gifts of knowledge, gifts of power, material gifts, things that you want. So you've been reminded this week that you are learning and you're learning that separation is illusion and that you are free. All that you desire and all that you cannot learn is already accomplished. It is accomplished in you because it is you. So what the angel is saying is everything that you desire, everything that you want, everything that you want to bring into your life, it's already done. It's already accomplished. It's already here. It's in you. So when you act as if it's here now, it creates quicker. So remember, your twin flame lives in you and you live in them. Separation is illusion. Don't think that that thing that you want to manifest is outside of you because it's always inside of you. Very powerful. These nuggets of information, they may mess your head up a little bit because you have to think a bit more to put things into a higher perspective. To think, I understand that. There's nothing separate from me because everything is within me. Everything I desire is already here now. I'm creating it because I am a creator. It's already done. It's already accomplished. It's already here and now. And what you give, you will receive. What you do not receive is of what you withhold. So in other words, what you, what you give out, you get back. And when you are giving love, you receive love. So if you feel you aren't receiving something in your life, ask yourself why. If something is triggering you because it's taking time to manifest, ask yourself why. You're being reminded it's all within you. Everything is a reflection of what's going on inside. So if you feel like someone is holding something back from you, maybe their love, it's an opportunity to love yourself more. Because when we love ourselves, we are able to accept other people's love. When we give to ourselves and nurture, nurture ourselves and nourish ourselves, then we can give that to others and accept that from them. Very powerful, profound message. 
says those who could not change the world one iota through their constant effort in peace create the world anew. So what this is saying is don't fight against the natural current of life. You know, what we resist persists. So when we're in that canoe and we're trying to control things and we're trying to row the wrong way, we get tired, we get drained, we get frustrated and we just can't go on. So we have to let go. We have to put the oars of the canoe down and let the stream take us where we're meant to go. And then we feel peace. Ah, <sighs> We feel like a big weight's been lifted off our shoulders. And then we create the world anew. We create magic and new things in our life by letting go. So the big message is you can change the world, but you have to do it by letting go and trusting and having faith and allowing things to move into place in their own time and not trying to control everything with constant effort. Instead, focus on peace, gratitude, love and joy and that will manifest your dreams. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Cancer, welcome. And I'm a Cancerian, so I'm excited for this reading today. So what do we need to be aware of today? What's happening for this week for you? What do we need to know? So the message is, your faulty memory has caused you to believe love can be used to keep you safe, to make you happy and bind to you those you choose to love. This is not the case for love cannot be used. Wow. So the message is, sometimes our memory can seem a bit faulty, which means we believe things that aren't true through fear and illusion. So we may believe that if our divine masculine, for example, is with us, that's the only time we can be safe. We learn that we are independent beings, that we can be happy and feel safe and choose love and choose happiness always, even when we feel like we're all alone, because we're never alone, we're surrounded by love. And when things happen that seem out of our control, so say, for example, if your masculine blocks you or ghosts you or they aren't around you or you know, you lose a loved one or you lose a job or something moves out of your life for a time, then something better is coming. Something bigger is on the horizon that you may not yet see. So it's about trusting and believing that our ego can cloud our judgment and it can create memories that aren't real. When we go over something in our minds and we may look at it differently with rose-coloured glasses instead of seeing things the way they were. So you don't need anyone to keep you safe because you're already safe. You don't need anyone to make you happy because you're already happy. You can choose happy. That's your natural state of being. And you don't need to hold anyone in your hands to keep them with you because they're already with you. And you can't lose what's truly meant for you. Very powerful. So again, the message here, let go. Allow things to flow. What's meant for you will be for you. You are the love and the light of the world. So remember your power. The only way for you to come to live in truth is through faith. So the angel saying faith is the key. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in love. Have faith in what you're manifesting. And most importantly, have faith in yourself. It says not a faith in what might be, but a faith in what is. So again, let go of expectation, what might be. Just know it is. Unwavering faith brings power and magic into your life. Jesus said when we have a small amount of faith, even as small as a tiny mustard seed, we can move huge mountains in our life. So our faith, but most importantly, have faith in yourself. So you may find this week that you are having some time alone or things are changing around you. Maybe you're making decisions to start again in this fear because you think, am I going to be okay? Have faith that all is well. And you can have specialness or your true self, but never both. Wow. Now, what this is saying is, you know, we can try and be someone. We can try and put a mask on and be someone special. 
but we may not be being true to ourselves. And what I'm feeling with this is your divine masculine is taking the mask away so he can be his true self. And he knows now he doesn't have to try to be anyone or, you know, to act a certain way with you because you love him for who he is. Perfect as he is. And so are you. Now, I look at this message and it says you can have specialness or your true self, you but never both. I say you are special and you are unique and that is your true self. So that can also be a contradictive message. So we have to remember, look at things from our point of view and take the messages we receive into our heart and our life. So remember, if you don't agree with something, that's okay, because this is your life that you're living your way. Nobody else is walking in your shoes but you. So follow your heart. You are special. And that is who you truly are. That's your true self. But I feel masks coming off around your twin and you must have faith that they are moving towards you. And you don't need to be in union to be happy. You don't need them to be with you to feel complete because you were complete anyway. And this is absolutely what you're realising this week. Faith is the key. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Libra. No, Leo, we're doing, aren't we? Sorry, I'm going to put that aside for Libra. I feel that's a Libra message. Leo, are you connecting with a Libra right now? Or are you feeling the energy of Libra, which is about balance and harmony? Okay, are you connecting with that energy? Are you needing some kind of justice in your life right now? Call on Archangel Jeremiah. Very powerful. So you may also want to watch the Libra reading because I've got an extra message there. Okay, I'm actually going to read it. They're guiding me to read it and then also put it to one side for Libra. So Leo, all that you are asked to give up is your insane notion that you are alone. Wow. So you're never alone. So I definitely feel Libra connection here for someone watching that you need to hear. A Leo and a Libra connection. You are not alone. You are not separate from each other because you are one. But the big message here is you're not alone. Thinking you are alone in this vast universe when you are surrounded by love and support and power and angels and you have soul family who love you. You are not alone. That's an insane notion. You know, for me, you know, I'll give you an idea. You know, I've lost my mum. I've lost my dad. Most of my family have passed away and or moved away from us for some reason, you know, because of family stuff and there's only really me and, you know, one other who I class as someone very special as a family member in my life because I haven't really got a relationship with my sister. So when she goes and she's 82, I'll be all alone. I'll be an orphan. But I know I'm never alone because I'm surrounded by love and angels. And regardless of George or you guys, if I was in a remote castle somewhere all alone, I'd feel safe because... Archangel Michael would be right by my side and my guardian angel would be with me as my best friend and I am my own best friend anyway and I'm surrounded by heavenly power and that's the same for you so that's the message if you have that notion that you are alone or you go through moments where you feel like your masculine doesn't care about you it's an insane notion that you're being asked to give up the message is Wholeness is peaceful. Only separation creates conflict. So when we're in separation, we go through conflict until we realize that separation is preparation and it's creating the way. And then we feel peaceful and that brings in wholeness. So if you're going through separation this week or you're going through any conflict because of separation or because of the feeling of separation, even if you're communicating, Remember, wholeness is peaceful. So calm your energy, breathe, relax and let go and know that you are safe and loved and there's nothing to fear. Your, wow, look at this. Your natural state is one of union. So there's this big message here for you, that you are never alone, that you are never separate from your twin flame. 
and you were never separate from yourself or anyone else because you were supported and protected and loved but your natural state is union so you're moving towards your union and again i'm getting this energy of libra energy which can also be connected with karmic endings change and balance so you're moving into alignment with your union so your natural state is one of union and each joining that you do in holy relationship returns a little of the memory of union to you. So every time you learn something, you overcome conflict, you feel at peace. You know that that memory of union is within you. The times you've shared together, the love you'll make together and the way you'll be when you are together. So this is a message that's saying to you, Leo, you are manifesting your union and things are falling into place separation is illusion i hope that helps have a great week and i'll see you soon virgo welcome wow straight out the deck for you there virgo the message for you is what you have seen as your failings or weaknesses are as valuable as your successes and strengths so remember whatever you feel as a weakness is a strength because it's growing you when you feel you failed you've learned when we fail we get up it's not how many times we get knocked down it's how many times we get up and fight what has separated you will also unite you what a powerful message i've got angel bones. so what separated you will unite you in other words separation is merely preparation separation is getting you ready for your union so what separated you will unite you the love separated you and the love will unite you and you may think what do you mean well we separate from our twin because of the intensity and the power of the love and we unite with our twin because of the intensity and the power of the love so if you feel you've failed or you know you've been weak on this journey it's made you stronger and you are valuable and strong the only thing that is going to hold you back from your ability to sustain christ consciousness is doubt about yourself so don't doubt the journey don't doubt yourself don't doubt this love you are christ consciousness source energy liquid love the only thing that can hold you back from your twin flame journey from your psychic power from your mission for your purpose is your own fear and doubt so today replace doubt with faith we achieve victory now through surrender so the angel saying surrender this journey give it to heaven and trust in love an active and total acceptance of what is given so trust that you are being given love you are being given support you are being given power you are being given all the lessons and all the obstacles and challenges that you need to gain value success and strength so that what separated you will unite you and you will achieve victory now and when we're in the present moment we have won because we're feeling powerful and strong revelation cannot come to those who are so certain of what is that they cannot allow for the new to be revealed so in other words let go of expectation when we expect something to happen a certain way or at a certain time we get disappointed we get frustrated we get angry allow the universe to create the way to reveal the way to create the new way to make things happen in a beautiful new way and abundance is the natural state of unity and thus your natural state so you deserve love abundance and union in your life that's your natural state of being just as certainty rather than uncertainty is your natural state and just as joy rather than sorrow is your natural state so the angels are saying to you virgo the revelation you'll be having this week that will lead to victory in your life is to replace any doubt with the feeling of power certainty so instead of replacing doubt with faith replace doubt with certainty certainty of union certainty of joy and certainty of power because you deserve the best and you are not separate now from who you will be when you reach completion so you are already becoming the person that you were born to be you're already in alignment in alignment with your true self 
And the saying as well, let go of any feeling that you're lying to yourself about things through doubt. If you think, oh, you know, I've just lied to myself, this isn't real, or I can't do that or have that, you absolutely can't. Change that uncertain energy to certainty. And being aware of how you feel in this present moment, in this now, is the only way to certainty. So listen to your body, your feelings, what you're going through internally, because it's an inner guidance system of what's to come. If you feel good, keep doing more of what you're doing. If you feel bad, change what's going on to feel certain and powerful in your faith. Beautiful energy. I hope that helps. Have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you soon. Libra, welcome. So when I was doing Leo's reading, something very powerful happened. I automatically connect with your sign. So if you have a twin flame connection with a Leo, then the message is this. All that you asked, all that you are asked to give up is your insane notion that you are never alone. You are not alone. So you and your twin are one. Now, regardless of a, if you have a Leo connection or not, the angels are saying to you, you are not alone. You are not alone. You are surrounded by love and separation is illusion. So take the insane notion from your mind that you are lonely or alone or it's never going to happen or you're making this love up because you're not it's absolutely real so if you are connecting with a leo then obviously go and watch that reading too because it will really help so the message is coming through for you then libra apart from that you are you're not alone we've got through receptivity what you your so they just say open up and they're giving me a real croaky block in the throat when i'm connecting with you right now so you're opening up to receive communication in so many other ways, in other forms, through telepathy, dreams, signs, synchronicities, numbers, be open to receiving. So it says through receptivity, what your mind finds difficult to accept, your heart accepts with ease. Wow. So be open to the ways your twin flame and the universe is showing you and giving you love this week through signs, synchronicities and all these things, because your heart will accept them with ease and you'll let go of faith. Well, you're, you're saying you'll let go of fear and replace it with faith. But I feel that, you know, this is what you've been going through. You've been thinking, faith, what is it? Is it real? Question it, trying to let go of it. Maybe focusing in your mind and what your mind finds difficult to accept, which is faith, your heart accepts with ease. So you may be going through a struggle or in, in a battle, or you're connecting with your masculine because you're being guided to have faith and you're trying to let go because you're thinking, I don't know if it's real. I don't know if I'm making it all up in my head. Is faith a true thing? Is this journey even real? And the angel's saying, let go of the insane notion that you're making it all up in your head. So never let go of faith. Find your faith and remember your power says your reality is union. Wow. So you're being shown that you deserve union. Your reality is union. Thus, no striving for either unity or perfection is necessary. So it doesn't need to be perfect. It just will be. And you don't need to try so hard to make your union happen because it's already meant to be. It's already in your reality. It's already here and now. It may just be taking a moment to manifest. So your reality is union, be open to union. And it says, through receptivity, what your mind finds difficult to accept, your heart accepts with ease. So, I mean, we've got mirrored energy. I mean, I don't know if they've meant to put the same card in there twice. Everything happens for a reason. You know, George did that in his deck of divine masculine cards. And everything happens for a reason, you are one. So this is showing you, you are one with your twin and they're giving me fear. So you must release this fear and this feeling that, you know, faith isn't important or faith doesn't matter or it doesn't get you anywhere because it does. All you have to do is be open and receptive to understanding with your heart and feeling with your heart what your mind might find difficult to accept. And this is what you're both going through because you are mirroring your twin right now 
especially as we move into Gemini energy at the weekend, but your reality is union. And you don't have to strive for that union because it's already in you. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's necessary that you were together. The angel's saying it's, it's you know, undeniable about you guys loving each other. And it's undescribable sometimes. It's indescribable. And it's inevitable that you're going to be together. So release any fear or struggle. Have faith. Don't think you've got to let go of that faith because your reality is your union and it's coming in so i feel you're getting your head around many many things and you are not alone i hope that helps have a great week and i'll see you soon scorpio welcome wow powerful got one card coming out for you and a card on the top two cards on the top wow and yeah that no i've got a few cards coming out. i have to take the ones who are jumpy this is your main message and these are extras clarifiers so it says you cannot accept the compassionate and loving benevolence of the universe of God of all, all that is and still accept the reality of lack. So what the angel is saying, release lack mentality. In spiritual truth, you can create and live the life that you desire. Accept the compassionate and loving energy and benevolence of the universe of God of all that is. You deserve the world. So nothing is lacking in your life, but your kind of perception of that lack. So if you're thinking, I want to be with my twin, why isn't he here? What's going on? Why haven't I got that thing that I want? Don't focus on the lack of it. Know that the universe is creating the way. So have compassion for what your twin flame is going through and learning at this time. Have compassion for yourself. And trust this beautiful, magical universe to create things for you at, at the right time. It says, without judgment, there would be no separation. For you would see no difference between yourself and your brothers and sisters. So, release judgment about the way that your divine masculine is behaving right now. Or the way he's moving to your union or the things he's doing. Because we are all one. We are all brothers and sisters in this reality. We're all connected. So this is also about letting go of judgment and remembering that if someone is judging you, that's their issue. They're not walking in your shoes. You are walking in your shoes. So you do you. And how different would the world be if you would but attempt for one day to replace use with union? Wow. So union. So the angels are reminding you your union is meant to be. If you feel like your masculine has used you or hurt you or caused you pain, release that now. You know, Scorpio, you do tend to have that sting and bite in your tail. And you can react to things when you're being guided to respond. So respond with love and say, I know that my union is meant to be. And everything that's happened to this point has taught me so much. It's allowed me to release pain and fear and judgment and to move past those things into the energy of compassion and love so your masculine has not used you your masculine has taught you the person that you deserve to be and you will never fully understand what unity means but you will come to feel what unity means and this i promise you wow so you've got the promise of union for your twin and this is the stag. So your masculine is saying, I promise you that we will be in union. And you're realizing that you can't explain it with the mind because it's felt with the heart. And that's what we have to remember on this twin flame journey. The mind tries to make sense of things. And that's when we can judge others and, you know, question the connection and go into fear. But when we replace the mind and the logic with love and power and feeling then we understand it because it's felt so we can't explain it sometimes because it's felt and that's why people around you who are not twin flames will never understand it the way you do because it's something that's felt it says your purpose now is the holiest possible and all of heaven is with you so you'll be reminded that you are a light worker and all that is needed is your continuing willingness all that can cause you to fail is giving up. So the angel's saying your purpose now, maybe you've been thinking, what's my life purpose? What am I here for? Your life purpose is to continue 
to not give up, to have continued willingness to grow and learn and understand and be a twin flame and understand what you're going through instead of giving up and moving away from your path. So your purpose now is the here and now. And that's the holiest possible thing because you are surrounded by angels who are keeping you safe, keeping you secure in the knowledge that you're exactly where you're meant to be and you're absolutely on the right path to achieving your dreams. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Sagittarius, welcome. What's the energy, please, for Sagittarius? Wow. So the messages are all power to affect change comes from acceptance. So accept the situation right now, accept what you can't change and be the change that you want to see. Accept the past, bless the past, release the past and feel free and be in the energy of knowing that what will be will be even better than what's gone. It says not acceptance of the way things are, but acceptance of who you are in the present moment. So remember, you can handle anything that comes your way. Even if you're not liking things around you in your life and you're wanting to change those things, when you're willing to change, which starts from within you, your whole world will change to fit what you feel and what you think and what you know. So you change your reality by changing your thoughts. Thoughts become things. You have the power to mould your life the way you want it to be. So there's no lessons learned without love touch your heart and no lessons that do not touch your heart will accomplish anything so when things touch your heart that means you've grown it means you've learned something you've found something within you and things that don't touch your heart things you feel indifferent about don't serve you so you're moving into this energy where you know it's okay to feel it's okay to be vulnerable that's not a weakness it's actually a strength and you are asking to end your separated state and learn to lean into. It says learn, but they're saying to lean into a state of union. So this is the angel saying your separation is coming to an end because you're realizing that you're already in a state of union, union and unity. And you're leaning towards that right now. This is a basic recognition that this is the only way you learn. So you're going through, you know, these understandings where you may be going back to basics and recognizing who you are. You're realizing your truth. This is the way you learn. This is the way you grow. When we go through separation, when we go through struggle, when we have that block in communication, we grow so much and we realize that we have to lean into our union. We have to appreciate where we are now and why we've been through the things we have and really eliminate fear because things that touch our heart grow our heart and grow our soul and help us to evolve. It says letting go of what your mind would tell you in favour of what your heart already knows is but the purpose of this course. So in other words, release what you feel in your mind or what you think in your mind and trust what you feel in your heart. And sometimes we can feel things that we think we understand, but the heart knows best. All paths lead home. Everything is moving you where you're meant to be. And sometimes we have to go back to the beginning to understand that. That's why separation comes in. That's why sometimes if you think back on your journey, if you went into separation and then you came back together, and then you went back into separation. You had to relearn the lesson by going back to the beginning. So that you actually complete the lesson and graduate and get to the other side. So a very powerful message. Let go of the fear that the mind can speak to you. What if scenarios, especially things connected with age gaps or differences. You know what you know from your heart. Your heart wants what the heart wants. And when you accept that. And you feel that and you know that you move out of that energy of separation and you lean into your union because you've learned what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Capricorn, welcome. Wow. One card for you, Capricorn. One card. It says the world does not keep you separate. Wow. So the angel is saying 
outside circumstances may seem to be affecting your connection, but they're really not. Okay, it's illusion. You may think that karmic partner is keeping them away from you or that distance is keeping them apart from you, but it's actually illusion. You keep yourself separate from the world and this is what has made the world what it is. So in other words, it's our thoughts that create our reality. We know when we have to heal and grow on a soul level. So the only people that can keep twin flames away from each other are the twin flames themselves, the divine feminine and the divine masculines for growth and learning and healing and joint recognition of what unconditional love is. So the angel is saying, don't blame the world, don't blame circumstances because you're not together. Look within and observe your journey. Are you healed enough yet to be in union? Are you ready for your union? Are you feeling compassion towards the situation? Are you putting conditions on things? Are you focused on the web? Are you releasing all of that to God? So this is you coming into a realisation this week that nothing is holding back your union apart from the fears and insecurities and doubts and struggles that you were both experiencing within. And when those things are healed within, then you'll come together in the physical world and nothing can keep you apart. So change the way you see the world and the world around you will change. This is a beautiful, loving, kind universe that wants to give you everything that you've ever desired and wanted and they want to bring it in now. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Aquarius, welcome. Aquarius, two cards, wow. So the energy for you is knowing and love are inseparable so the angels are saying to you you and your twin flame even if you're in separation you are inseparable and when you know this you feel this because it's love love is the only true wisdom the only true understanding and the only true knowing because love is the greatest teacher so your divine masculine is your greatest teacher and they are teaching you to focus on love and to know that love is the answer to all of your questions. When we know, we love. When we love, we know. So in other words, you know your truth. You know that your divine masculine is your divine masculine. You know that your divine feminine is your divine feminine. You know this is true. You know this is real. You know that you are wise and powerful and you have a true understanding of what this love is. And only your heart can lead you to the forgiveness that must overcome judgment. So I feel this is a great week to forgive, to heal, to release. Because you're never separate from anything in your life through love. We're only separate when we're in fear. When we're holding on to the past, when we're struggling, when we're resenting things. When we're going over and over what the masculines have done. Forgive, heal. And that will lead to separation ending it will lead to a reunion it will lead to understanding that separation truly is illusion of the mind so when we know this love is real we forgive because we have to to be in union with your twin flame you have to forgive the past and forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be hurt for allowing yourself to treat yourself that way remember nobody can hurt us without our permission Nobody can affect us or treat us in a way that may cause us pain without our own permission. So forgive yourself for that and heal and feel at peace because your heart leads you to forgiveness and that must overcome judgment. Remember, we've got to want it. We've got to want it. When we go over things in our minds, we can continue to focus on the pain and that brings in more pain for ourselves, and it damages ourself and it hurts ourself no one else if we choose to go into the heart we feel the love we love them anyway regardless of what's happened and we want them in our life regardless so we have to let go of the judgment let go of the pain forgive and that opens doorways to the future so forgiveness is the key knowing that love is the greatest teacher so forgive your twin because they are your greatest teacher Forgive yourself because you are healing and growing. You are a student of this life as well as a teacher of others and you are strong. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Pisces, welcome. 
So what do we need to know, please, angels, this week for Pisces? Wow, jumping out the deck for you. So the message is true forgiveness simply looks past illusion to the truth. So remember everything that's gone on in your connection. It's grown your soul and it's all illusion. What matters is love. Love is the power that brings you together. Love conquers fear. Love is the answer to all of the questions. Very similar message to what we've had for um, Aquarius. It says, where there are no sins to be forgiven, no wrongs to be pardoned. So we're all sinners and we all need to be forgiven. Why? Because we are all human beings. Even though we are spiritual beings having that human experience, we all grow through the things we go through. So we have to make mistakes to learn. Mistakes are lessons in disguise, blessings in disguise. We have to learn and grow. That's how we find our power, our strength, and how we become our greatest version. And love does not hold any record of wrongs. So forgive your twin. Forgive the situation. Wipe the slate clean. Forgive yourself and feel free. Feel at peace because that's how we realize that everything else is illusion. Time is illusion, separation is illusion, and fear is illusion. It's a false experience that appears to be real that creates drama in our mind. And we don't need drama in our mind, in our life, in our body, because it creates harm and struggle. When we're in the moment, in the now, we feel safe, we feel alive, we feel free, we feel ready for anything. And you are ready for anything. And you know this because you're a very deep soul, you've got deep knowledge in you. So access that knowledge and know your truth. So forgive truly this week by looking past illusion to the truth that love is real, that your twin flame is your greatest teacher and you are theirs and there's nothing to forgive. You are free. I am free. We are one. And the angels want you to know that. So forgive yourself. Feel at peace. Feel blessed. And you are forgiven and all is well. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.